Well, hi, everybody. Welcome back to school. This is Mrs. Lori Dieter. Um, this year in White Cloud, we have two teachers in sixth grade that sound have names pretty similar. My name is Dieter without an S. I'll be using the L Dieter to help you um, distinguish between Mrs. Dieter's with an S on the end. Um, I'm the math teacher. And this is the supplies that you need for um, sixth grade and seventh grade math. Okay, first thing, we're going to do some notes in class. They'll probably up, be uploaded, uploaded too, but the students will be working on notes. And so you're going to need a three ring notebook, um, maybe a little bit bigger than this. This is my own, um, but one that you can just keep math stuff in so you can keep it separate from other things. Students are also going to need a composition notebook. The composition notebook, if you're a 7th grader, you had one last year, you can continue to use that same one if you cap it. Composition notebook is a notebook that we're going to be gluing into. It has to have the pages that will not come out. See, these pages are sewn in here. Otherwise, they fall out. And, and then these are notes that they'll be able to use on tests. Um, it's called an interactive notebook, and that's what we'll be making. Okay, and in order to make that, we cannot share any supplies this year um, because of COVID. Your student will need colored pencils or markers. Colored pencils, I think, work the best because they don't have the bleed through and they're a little neater. But if your student really, really has to have markers, um, some markers will probably work. I do like the colored pencils the best. And also, glue, Elmer's glue. Um, glue sticks dry out after a while in the book. Um, this book is going to be all year long project. This book is going to be graded every marking period. So in order to um, do that, they're going to need some um, school glue, Elmer's glue, and it won't dry out and the pages won't fall out and then they'll lose points for them if they fall out. So um, school glue, um, definitely need that. Um, then they're going to need some scissors, own pair of scissors. Can't share scissors this year. Um, you know, it's really hard to sanitize those. Um, certainly lots of um, paper that they can do their work on. or um, But we don't want paper that is in this book because if you tear a page out of the back of this book, the front one that's attached to it is going to fall out. So we don't want them to rip pages out of here. We want other loose leaf um, spiral notebook that they can use. For paper. Pencils, very important that um, the students have pencils, okay? Um, and they're going to need a little hand sharpener. Uh, we can't use the pencil sharpener that's on the wall and have every kid um, touch it because we'd have to be sanitizing it every hour. Besides, if you students remember, mine really doesn't work that well. So they're going to need pencils, they're going to need a hand sharpener so they can sharpen it on their own. Um, we don't use ink pens in math class. So um, pencils, mechanical pencils, if they use them, I break mechanical pencils because the lead is way too light and I write um, heavy for that. Um, the class list also said um, a ruler um, and um, a calculator. Now one class list, six, the elementary sent out, they said a calculator, yes. Sixth grade, there will be only a couple of times where we, where we will use a calculator. Simple calculator, you know, that's one that came from another teacher, works well. But when you get to seventh grade, it's pretty much you have to. This is kind of optional in sixth grade, okay? But in seventh grade, you need a calculator. I like, this is the TI um, 30, this one is solar. You won't have to worry about replacing batteries. This calculator is a scientific calculator. They run about $10 in Walmart. Um, this is also a TI-80, but this isn't the two because this one uses batteries. Okay, again, about the same price. This might be a couple dollars more, but it probably is worth it because of the solar power. Seventh graders, the second half of the year really need a calculator, a scientific calculator. Really stinks trying to do exponents on something that doesn't do exponents. But these will. So um, scientific calculator is a good thing. It also can carry over into eighth grade um, 
it's it's really needed. I know one of them said it's optional. That was an office mistake. Um, but they do need the composition notebook. That's going to be a project. It will be worth a hundred points, um, both in the spring, or I'm sorry, every marking period, fall marking period, semester, spring marking periods. Um, remote students, once you um, do yours, you're going to have to um, print out the pages or watch the videos I put and, and design your own so you get the information in there. And then you'll have to make a little video of showing me every single page and explaining your notebooks for me. Um, students in class, you'll be turning them in. I'll be able to turn the pages myself and look at those. Um, so that's our supplies we need for 6th and 7th grade. I'll be going over that in class with you. But if you have a um, adult person in your life that wants to know what is required, um, that will be, um, they can watch this little video with you and they can see what's going to be required, things you'll need, supplies you'll need um, to make it through the year. If you have any questions, certainly email me. I need to hear from my remote students twice a week, either two assignments a week done or two emails. If you'd like to start on that email, you see in the video, send me an email. Say, Mrs. Dieter, I got it. There is a way to message me through um, Google Classroom. I'm still learning that. I'm not sure on that yet. Maybe somebody out there can um, it, send me a message. Say, Mrs. Dieter, I know how I can message you. Send me a message. Tell me how you did it. Hope you have a great day and a wonderful four-day weekend. We'll see you either remotely or in the classroom. Um, Talk to you later.